spot here in Cedar Grove where I filmed the train going by the house here, I don't know, six, seven years ago. And as you can tell, there hasn't been a train through here since I filmed that. Look how close to the house these tracks are. Here's the tracks. We got the house. It's only about nine feet from the rail to the house, the edge of the house. This is the same spot I filmed from. Cedar Grove, Indiana. I stood somewhere right in this area when I filmed the train going by. Right about in here somewhere. Hasn't been a train through here in years. The lines got flooded out. All the washouts along the river is what closed this line down. Too expensive to fix it just for the one customer at the end. Okay, here's the railroad crossing that I filmed that train going across here back when Rail America used to run this line. I stood right about in this area. It was actually somewhere around 2011. And you've got the one customer past this point, the grain elevator. The tracks were recently fixed up um, not quite this far but up to where they've got a new customer valley asphalt this area looks like it could use a little bit of work here rails are kind of wavy got a drainage issue here until water comes down through here quite a bit At least it's still alive, part of the Brookville branch. There's about 26 miles total track all the way to Brookville, but only about half of it is in service right now.
Okay, here's the track alongside the river. They had a lot of washouts along this river, and I don't really know why this looks like this. This is kind of interesting. See the tracks in there, covered over with mud. I really don't know why it's like this. We're just a couple miles south of Cedar Grove. Now one time when I was chasing the train through here, I found a piece of rail laying by the side. They had replaced a piece of broken rail it was dated 1897. They threw off a little tiny piece. Can't really read the rail because all the mud and stuff from where the water's washed over top of it. The tracks go through there. There won't be any more trains through here, unfortunately. Almost looks like somebody's using this as a road. There's the railroad track. Check out this railroad crossing right here, folks. One time it was snowing and I was here and a train came through and I took a picture of the train going through the snow right about in this area. Let's see if there's any dates on the side of it. Well, that's a newer piece of rail there. I can't really tell what it says, but it's a newer one. Here's an older piece of rail. Still can't find any good dates on the side of it. Nineteen sixteen. One of them said Carnegie. Cool how they go from a lighter pound rail to heavier pound rail for the crossing. The heavier pound rail is dated 1989 for the crossing. So the last customer that uses the line is about a mile down the tracks that way. It's the uh, grain elevator. And the tracks go up here. They're actually still in service all the way up just to the other side of I-74 and they're maintained through here too. You can tell by looking at the top of the rail there has been some kind of movement over this line within the past couple months or so and also there's uh, some new ties in this section even though we are about a mile or so past the last customer they do have some new ties down through here and they're keeping the weeds back too. Once you get up that way on the other side of of I-74, the tracks are out of service and not maintained at all and in pretty bad shape. Okay, that down there, that's the very end of the track right there to the um, in-service track. There's a, a red flag in the middle of the track at the very end and past that point, uh, there's no maintenance or anything. It's out of service past that point. The track goes right through here, under the road, and out the other way.
This is the new customer on the line that keeps about half of this track alive. The tracks are right back behind there. To the right, it goes to the out of service end. To the left, the tracks go all the way up to Valley Junction where the branch starts. This is where they had to derail them a couple weeks back. One good thing about it, you can see the tracks now. At least you can see the trains go by. This is the new customer, Valley Asphalt. We've got a loop track back there, and there's some hopper cars sitting back there right now, and there's the gravel.